Injury. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix it. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 27, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there, and he winds up giving the ball away. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll run on first down. It's ball. Von Bell up to make the tackle. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, ball. Able to slither by, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. 88 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first down, it's ball. Strong run, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. And the Steelers on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. On second down now. It's ball. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now an option play on second down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They'll run on first down. Ball. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ball, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brandon, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop them here on third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll try and run for it. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stopped him a yard shy. He needed two. He only got one. And the Bengals will get the football back. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 11. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Open man is Uzama. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down. Burrow over the middle, he finds Higgins. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. We're all going to get this into the hands of Mixon, his running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To the air again, Burrow. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Burrow on third down. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. To throw once more on second and 10. Burrow, and he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And Burrow gonna throw again. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And now here is another interception. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. Cover 
here up near the 40. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's ball. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. On third down. Ball and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Pittsburgh, the train just keeps rolling 9 and 0 now to start this campaign. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the New York Jets. Meanwhile for Cincinnati, it's a loss that'll drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Shall come forth as pure gold. Have you been tried in the fire? Have you been tried in the fire? Well, tell me, did you come through as pure gold? You kick it like the benefactor's benefactor. Well, truthfully, we know you never been a factor. Well, honestly, the truth is that you've been an actor. And now your actions got them boys got the mass up. Lectures from the devil got you piping hot. This up and you get screwed and chopped no Michael Watts. When I was 10, I knew I should have been on rap a lot. Think like Jay Prince and I do more than just rap a lot. Listen, I went and got my digits up. Listen, your favorite, bruh. Listen, you 
You don't want no trouble, cuz. The 25th, I got a meeting with the governor. That's your rap a lot, no cap a lot. I used to from Farron down to Camelot. I used to whip up in my granny's pot. She asked my friends, was I? They said, nope, he not. <laughs>